The man who led the Japanese aerial attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, was the last person you'd expect to become a Christian evangelist. Captain Mitsuo Fukuda's experiences during World War II heavily influenced him, leading to his religious conversion in the years following the conflict. Mitsuo Fukuda was born in what's now the city of Katsuragi, Japan on December 3, 1902. At only 19 years old, he enlisted in the Imperial Japanese Navy, IGN, attending the academy in Hiroshima. He graduated as a midshipman, and was quickly promoted through the ranks, becoming a lieutenant by December 1930. Although part of the IJN, Fukuda had a particular interest in flying. He became a specialist in horizontal bombing and was tasked with teaching other airmen the technique. He was assigned to the aircraft carrier Kaga in 1929 during the Second Sino-Japanese War, before being transferred to the Sasebo Air Group. On December 1, 1936, Fukuda was promoted to lieutenant commander and accepted into the Naval Staff College. When World War II broke out, he was serving as the commander of the air group aboard Akiji, and had logged an impressive 3,000 flying hours. Just months before the Pearl Harbor attack, Mitsuo Fukuda was promoted to commander and given the task of leading the first wave of aerial forces against Oahu, Hawaii. At 7.40 a.m. on December 7, 1941, he ordered the assault from his Nakajima B-5N2, shooting out the Black Dragon, Flare, which signaled his men to attack. He wound up sending out a second Flare, as he thought the Mitsubishi A6M0 pilots hadn't seen the first. Instead, the bombers thought it was their command to attack, so they did. Fukuda's aircraft was piloted by Lieutenant Mitsuo Matsuzaki and fell in line with the others. The air assault was a success, and Fukuda said the infamous phrase, Tora! 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 This told the crew aboard Akiji that the first wave had accomplished what they'd set out to do. Rather than return to the aircraft carrier, Fukuda stayed in Hawaiian airspace to ensure the second wave was also a success. When he returned, he realized his aircraft had sustained 21 flak hits, and confirmed that the target American ships had been destroyed. Mitsuo Fukuda continued to serve throughout the remainder of World War II. He led the first wave of aircraft against Darwin, Australia on February 19, 1942 and also led a series of air assaults against the Royal Navy in British Ceylon. Fukuda served aboard Akiji until she was scuttled during the Battle of Midway, where he suffered two broken ankles. After recovering from his injuries, Mitsuo Fukuda spent the remainder of World War II in Japan as a staff officer, before being promoted to captain in October 1944. As a high-ranking officer, he was asked to travel to Hiroshima to look at the damage caused by the atomic bomb. Although everyone in his group died from radiation poisoning, he was completely fine. Fukuda's career came to an end when the Americans occupied Japan in November 1945. He returned to his family's chicken farm and recalled feeling. Life had no meaning. I had missed death so many times and for what? What did it all mean? Mitsuo Fukuda's search for meaning began when he was asked to testify in Japanese war crime trials. He talked with former prisoners of war to show that the Americans had treated them in the same way. Fukuda re-evaluated his beliefs after meeting a former POW who recounted a woman named Peggy Covell, who tended to them, despite her parents being killed by the Japanese. He read a pamphlet written by Jacob de Chaser, who turned to Christianity after being tortured. Fukuda followed a similar path and officially converted to Christianity in September 1949. After that, he started traveling the world as an evangelist, and was even invited to the United States to share his story. Fukuda said he was only ever welcomed warmly, telling those he met, I would give anything to retract my actions at Pearl Harbor, but that is impossible. Instead, I will work at striking the death blow to the giant called hatred which infests human hearts. Mitsuo Fukuda recounted his own story in numerous books, including Midway, the battle that doomed Japan for that one day, the memoirs of Mitsuo Fukuda, 
the commander of the attack on Pearl Harbor, and from Pearl Harbor to Calvary, true story of the lead pilot of the Pearl Harbor attack and his conversion to Christianity. However, he received significant backlash for its accuracy, with official Japanese history contradicting his claims. Fukuda also made comments about demanding a third wave of aerial attacks at Pearl Harbor, which were dismissed by others in their book Pearl Harbor. Alan Zim called out Fukuda for retroactively changing his commands, calls, and actions on the day of the attack, while blaming the mistakes he made on others. Fukuda never appeared to address these critiques, instead spending his life recounting his experiences during the war and how they led him to find Christianity. He died in Japan on May 30, 1976 from diabetes.